let's take a look inside the top sales performers playbook. I'm Mark Hunter, the sales hunter. And you know, I get to work with top performers the world over. I get to coach them and work with them and help them. And it's absolutely amazing what I see in their playbooks as I've seen them and I've helped them develop them. Number one, 10 things I'm going to share with you. Number one, they have clear goals, both short and long term. You see, they're very clear goals and they have a plan behind them, but they're both short term. In other words, what am I going to do this quarter? What am I going to do this year? What am I going to do the next five years? They think both short and long term and they're very clear with how they're going to go there. Two, they have a weekly, daily outcome schedule. This is different than just to-dos. These are outcomes that they intend to achieve. And they're very clear. They develop this on a weekly basis and they refine it each day. But it's focused on the outcomes I'm going to have. I want to have three phone calls or I want to have three conversations today. I want to have two, I want to set up two sales calls this week. I'm going to have a sales call. These are specific outcomes. And what, what do I want to have come out of these sales presentations, these sales calls? They're very specific and they build their, their, their steps they're going to do into that. In other words, to achieve this outcome, what is it I got to do? What are the questions I'm going to have to ask? What is the information I'm going to need? What is it I'm going to share? But they're focused on the outcome, not necessarily on the steps. You see, focus on the outcome that tells you what the steps, but too many people, what they do is they just focus on the steps and they don't realize what the outcome is. Number three, they have very repetitive tasks. This is amazing. This is how top performers get more done in a day because they literally do the same thing over and over and over again. They have repetitive tasks that they know when they go into a sales call, these are the steps they got to do to get ready for that sales call. When they come out of a sales call, these are the steps they do. So all of these things are very, they don't leave anything to chance, but it helps them be far more efficient, which then takes me to number four, that they have, they have a very specific start of the day routine and an end of the day routine. This is very key because if I start the day solid, if I start the day strong, it's amazing how much more focused I am and how much more I'm going to accomplish. Same thing that I end the day. I end the day by putting a bow on it by they literally analyze a day and they set themselves up for the next day. I know top performers that when they end the day, they know exactly who they're going to be reaching out to, out to the next day. The calls they're going to make, the questions they're going to ask, the CTA call to action they're going to be looking for, they have everything put in place because they have a very set routine. Number five, they have a winning mindset. Hey, they know things aren't going to go always right. They know things can fall apart. That's okay. They have a winning mindset. And the winning mindset does one thing. The winning mindset helps them power through. They always look to find success. They know that much of their success is because of failures they've had. They don't allow failures to remain as failures. They see failures as opportunities to build on opportunities to learn from. And that's how what drives them to have that winning mindset. Six, they have a peer support group. They have peer support group, a mastermind group, whatever. You know, if you've been following me for any length of time, I have a mastermind group and I love my mastermind group because we, we support each other. We challenge each other. We push each other, but it helps keep us on track. Peer support group. Number seven, ownership. They take ownership of everything. They don't pass the blame. They don't pass the buck. When something doesn't go right, they don't say, oh, well, that's because that person did. No, no. They take ownership and their customers appreciate their customers love them for that. Number eight, they have a strong support team. Now, they may not have any people reporting to them, but they have like customer success, customer service, all these other teams. And they nurture them, they like them, they love on them, they help them. They get those people on their side, but they create a strong support team who in turn will help support them. Number nine, regular assessments. Now I said earlier that the top performer will always at the end of the day kind of assess a little bit how their day went. But at the end of the week, they really assess their week. At the end of the month, they really assess their month. At the end of the quarter, they're continuously assessing themselves to look for. How do I do things more efficiently? How do I do things more effectively? Who should come out of my pipeline? Who should go in my pipeline? 
Are there some questions I should be asking? Is there, are, is there other information I need to learn? Which then takes me to number 10. They have massive curiosity. They don't settle for not knowing something, but they're always looking to learn something new. In fact, top performers challenge themselves every day to learn something new. And by learning something new, what does it do? It makes them more efficient, more effective in their job. Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, Sales Center. I want you to check out the podcast, the Sales Center podcast and Sales Logic. I want you to subscribe to both of them because we talk about these issues on these podcasts a lot. And check out the Sales Center University. I'm Mark Hunter. Great selling.